When we're talking about a system site survey mm -hmm. and developing a Bosch uh, intrusion system design, mm -hmm. we have to talk about areas and points. Yes. Um, I guess I want to review a couple things with you. What is a point? What is an area? What do they do for us? Mm -hmm. And why why do I want those as part of my system design? So start by helping me out with what is a point? Well, the goal of any intrusion detection system is to detect events from, mm -hmm. sens uh, from sensors. Mm -hmm. Say, for example, a door opening or closing. What we do is we take that sensor and we connect it to a specific input on the alarm panel called a point and we give each point a specific number and name so we know exactly where that event is taking place. Now we could put multiple sensors on a single point, but the more sensors we have on a point, the harder it is to determine exactly which sensor it was that caused the event. Say you've got a room with two or three windows. We could put all those windows on a single point. We could save ourselves some points on the panel but if we have too many windows on the same point, uh, then we wouldn't know where exactly to direct our response. So generally speaking, we want to have as few sensors to a point as possible, mm -hmm. and we'd like to, have, to give each point a very specific name and number. And I guess when we talk about points, we talk about glass break detectors and door contacts and motion detectors. That's why some of the larger Bosch panels go up to 500 points because mm -hmm. there can be quite a few in a system and it, it starts to add up. Great, so um, when we talk about the points, I've got that, there can be a large number of those in a system. Mm -hmm. What do we mean when we def talk about an area when we're designing a system? What we can do here is we can have points grouped together and have them act independently of each other. For example, say we've got a shared office and we can put all the points in the portion of the office that belongs to one tenant and have all of them work together and we can have all the points that belong to another tenant and have all those work together. We can now use each group of points independently. We can have one tenant enter the building, turn off the alarm just in the area that they have access to, that they have authorized access to, and the, all the other points will still be active and alerted. Great, that makes sense. We have lots of points potentially, mm -hmm. and then we can create a handful of areas, which is a collection of those points. Yes. And so, what do I do? What are those areas good for? Um, I, I, I guess this um, mm -hmm. separation of different areas, some can be armed, some can't. Yes. And it allows me to uh, help configure the system based on those areas. Different functions can happen within those as I program them. Absolutely, so if you have a large building and you have lots of different uh, people that only have access to a specific uh, portion of that building. Mm -hmm. Instead of having lots of panels, you can have a single panel and have them control multiple areas within the building. I could see, for instance, a IT closet. And, uh, the IT department, maybe data closets are off limits. Those are armed where mm -hmm. the rest of the building, is, where employees travel. Th that would be an example of an area, would be uh, that specific right. area. And the important thing to remember about areas is that they all work independently. So if you have uh, one area and you turn the alarm off in that area, the other areas in that building are still going to be alarmed. I think I know the answer to this question, but how, how can I figure all this out? What's going to help me out and, and figure out and design this system? Because it's so flexible and so yeah. customizable, you really do need an expert mm -hmm. to help you figure out how many points, which sensor is going to be uh, assigned to which points, how many points you're going to need total, uh, how many areas you're going to need total, and how to design the system so that you, and how to design the system so you take advantage of the areas and points that you have. A lot of flexibility. Exactly. Well, I, I know who I'm calling. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Ari. Thanks. All right.